How to Write Good Blog Post Headlines If you're just starting out a blog, one of the biggest keys to your success is getting people to read your blog. The only way you can do that is to capture their interest. While you may have the world's best blog post, if your headline doesn't capture their interest, it won't matter. In fact, it would be more beneficial to have an average blog post with a great headline than to have a poor headline with an amazing blog post. You need to get the potential reader engaged, and the only way to do that is by making them interested at first. So, how do you write a good headline? Now, some of the best headlines you can write deal with numbers and tips. As an example, five tips to losing belly fat and getting six-pack abs. People love to read tips. They know that most of the tips they'll read will be short and concise and what they want. Also, writing about a specific number gives you an idea of how you can outline your blog post. Instead of running into a wall, you'll know that you need at least five tips to make your blog post complete. Another great way to create an interesting headline is to use a benefit. If you're writing about weight loss, you want them to see the benefit of losing weight, such as looking great in a swimsuit. However, one of the most powerful headlines you can use is the benefit plus curiosity to create a headline that will guarantee to be read. An example, three unwritten rules to losing weight and looking great in a bikini. This is a great example of a benefit plus curiosity based headline. They'll want to find out what the unwritten rules are and they'll be more likely to open your blog post and read it. It's also important to capture the imagination of people reading an RSS feed. If your headline isn't interesting to them, there's no way they're going to click on it.